example to that is exercise 1.2 uh, a frame of a punch press as shown in figure find the stress of inner outer fibers at section ab if the frame is uh, applied with 5000 newton force so this is a trapezium uh, cross section uh, with 40 width one smaller side 6 bigger side 18 radius of curvature is r to 25 means 25 so redrawing, redrawing the cross section of a trapezium. Uh, so the outer side is called as BO at 6 mm. Inner side is width is called BI that is 18 mm. And height H is called 40. And corresponding RI, RO, RC, RN is shown. CI, CO is shown in the figure C1, C2. So RI which is given 25. RO is 25 plus the height H that is 40 that is 65 mm. Now to find Rn to find Rc for a, a trapezium, you have to use the formula C1 H by 3 Bi plus 2 Bi plus Bo. So this formula we get in detailed book. So say 16.67. This is C1. So Rc is Ri plus C1. We get Rc that is 25 plus 16, 41.67. Radius of total S is Rn. We have this we get this formula in detailed book 25.62 equation number. So half H Bi plus Bo upon Substituting these values, we get 38 Rn as 38.8175. Then central, then eccentricity E is Rc minus Rn. We get 2.84. Then Ci is Rn minus Ri. We get it as 13.8175. Co is Ro minus Rn. We get it as 76. And then area of cross section half Bi plus Bo into H. So we get 480 square. Force is 5000 newton. L is 100 plus RC that is uh, 14167. Then bending moment MB is F into L. Multiplying F into L, we get bending moment. Direct stress we have sigma D is F by A. Then say bending stress in the fiber is M sigma BI, MBCI, ERI, substituting values. Now inner side is tensile, outside is compressive. So we get 286 as the tensile, sigma BO, MBCO, ERO, substituting values, we get 208 as compressive. Then combines the sigma D Ri is sigma D plus sigma Bi, adding both the tensile to direct, add directly. So we get 296 sigma combines the outer fiber sigma Ro, sigma D plus sigma Bo, sigma D is tensile, sigma Bo is compressive, so minus 208. So we get 198 compressive. And out of these two, maximum uh, half of maximum is called as 2 max. So here is a stress distribution for direct stress, bending stress, and combined stress.